free leverage. Good afternoon, Mayor, Good afternoon, Executive. Um, thank you so much for offering me this opportunity to participate in this conversation. Um, here, obviously, as a resident who cares immensely about my city, um, I'm also here as the program manager for uh, International Education for Christchurch NZ. In both capacities, I um, am 100% convinced uh, that international education offers immense value to our city's prosperity. Um, I feel that at the moment is a bit of a tricky time for um, international education with looming government changes that could have a serious impact on our industry's ability to attract talent to the city um, on our behalf. I feel that now is an opportunity for us to work together with industry collectively to present a bold message internationally that Christchurch is future focused and absolutely welcoming to migrants. So I've got a, sorry, do I just look through here? Um, I've got a quite a large slide deck and I'm just gonna zip through them quickly and make them available later for your reference. I'll talk a little bit about the size of the sector, the benefits of the city, as well as improving outcomes. Um, with uh, the work that Christchurch NZ does in this space. So many of you know international education is the fourth largest export earner for New Zealand. Uh, locally, the industry is worth 310 million, um, supporting 5,000 high value jobs. And we have a goal to increase that to a billion by 2025. So combined with the tourism Goals, that'd be about $3 billion um, contribution to the local economy by 2025. So the benefits to our city, the flow on effect um, from international education far outweighs the immediate economic impact. International education connects Christchurch to the world. It contributes to our soft power via global innovation, human development, diplomatic and trade rela relations strengthened by strong international alumni networks. Kiwi students also benefit from their exposure to international perspectives and develop their cultural competency so that they are more competitive in the global workforce and the global workplace. It provides education, improves education amenities for local residents because our institutions must, must remain globally competitive to attract global students. It also provides the city with skilled migrants, high value short and long stay visitors, as well as event participants, academic researchers, and international trade connections. So from an economic point of view, as my colleagues mentioned the other day, that for every dollar invested by the city, there is a return on that investment of 23 for the local economy. From a visitor perspective, from a visitor perspective, the students and their families are high value visitors. They visit multiple times and on average spend much more than your average visitor. From a labor market perspective, as you all know, in Christchurch we have a slight problem in the fact that we're facing a 73,000 labor shortage gap by 2031. However, Christchurch NZ estimates that if we meet our targets in 2025, um, as a result of the international education strategy, there will be 22,000 university graduates to create a pool of talent for us to choose from to close this gap. We know that about 40% of students internationally want to stay in their destination that they study, but we also know that only 20% of those students are actually able to receive a permanent residency five years after their student visa is awarded. So we know that we have a lot to do to ensure the stickiness of our city, to make sure that these young people choose Christchurch to, to be their future home. We also know at Christchurch NZ that our local businesses are fantastic at creating new innovation 
but sometimes struggle, particularly with international commercialization. So these students here, they bring multinational experience and cultural competency that offers immense value to local businesses, ability to take these products to the world and to grow the Canterbury Inc. brand. So what does Christchurch NZ do to improve outcomes with our industry partners? OK. <laughs> it's a nice picture to end on. <laughs> <laughs> so um, if we've, do I still have one minute? One sec, one? yeah, one minute. Yep. OK, great. Uh, so we partner with industry. We ensure that we are telling the story together with industry. We employ our students to tell the story for us and through them. We put on a range of activities to welcome our students to the city. And we support pathways to employment. So in this program alone, we've supported 200 students to find work in Christchurch, and 100 of them are now employed in their field of study. Thank you very much, Bree. And I, I know that you know, we're restricted to five minutes because of the um, it, it being an individual submission as opposed to an institutional one. So um, it might have been better to orchestrate this as an institutional presentation on behalf of Christchurch NZ um, for the education component. I mean, international education is part of the, that bigger picture. But um, thank you very much for, for the presentation. And if, if they can be, if the slides could be popped online, then um, we'll have the opportunity to look at those in more detail. But thank you very much for your time this afternoon. Thank you. Much appreciated.